If you're facing an issue after installing Linux Mint on your computer, PC or laptop, your Wi-Fi is not working, then you're in the right place. Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to fix it in a few simple steps. Usually it happens because of the proprietary drivers that are not included in the Linux distribution ISO and because of that when you install Linux Mint on your computer, it doesn't see your Wi-Fi adapter which means you're not going to be able to connect to any Wi-Fi networks. As you can see, I have faced the same issue when I tried to install Linux Mint on my desktop and it has an Asus X99 motherboard with Wi-Fi support, which means the motherboard has a built-in Wi-Fi module and it has this nice little antenna that you can put outside on the case and get a better Wi-Fi signal. But unfortunately, when I installed Linux Mint, my Wi-Fi was not working and as you can see, there is no Wi-Fi networks that I can choose. So if you're facing the same issue, let me show you how I got it fixed. A quick heads up, to fix this issue, you're going to need to get some internet access anyway. You can connect it via Ethernet or phone USB tethering. Without it, we won't be able to get the proper drivers. Okay, so after you have figured out how you're going to get internet to your computer, either via the Ethernet cable or phone USB tethering, go ahead and open the terminal and type in the following command, iwconfig, then press enter. As you can see, it says no wireless extensions. This confirms that the issue is with the drivers. So we're gonna need to find out what Wi-Fi adapter we have in our computer. For that, we're gonna type lspci space vertical line space grep space dash i space wireless don't worry i'm gonna put all the commands in the description so you can simply copy them and then paste them in the terminal this is supposed to show you what network control you got as you can see i have a broadcom inc and subsidiaries bcm 4352 802.11ac dual band wireless network adapter this is a very popular network controller from broadcom and it requires proprietary drivers to function. And usually when you install Linux Mint, Linux Mint doesn't include them in the distro ISO. So that's what's causing all the issues. If you have a USB Wi-Fi adapter, then in a terminal, you need to type a different command, LSUSB. This will show you which USB network adapter you have. After you find out which wireless adapter you have, you can search for the appropriate Linux driver. I'm going to show you how to do that a bit later. But for my situation, because I have this Broadcom network controller, BCM4352, this is a very common one. So after we find out which wireless network adapter we have, we're going to need to connect to the internet. For that, go ahead and plug in your ethernet cable. As you can see, we have connected to the internet. So now we can download the proper driver. For that, go ahead and type sudo apt update, press enter, enter the password for your system. After it will update all the packages, go ahead and type sudo space apt space install space bcmwl dash kernel dash source and press enter. Then you need to confirm press Y and press enter. So the wireless network adapter driver has been successfully installed. Now we're going to need to reboot our system. For that, simply type sudo space reboot and press enter. This is going to reboot our system. And once it's going to boot back, it should recognize our Wi-Fi adapter. So I'm going to disconnect the Ethernet cable and we're going to connect to the Wi-Fi. By the way, as you can see, I have a Windows 10 and Linux Mint dual boot system. If you're interested how to do that, I have a separate video you can check out. I'm going to put a link in the descriptions and the card in the upper right corner. So make sure to check it out if you want to get the best of both worlds. Having Linux Mint for security, going online and having Windows 10 for some other stuff like maybe some software that you cannot get on Linux Mint. Like for example, Adobe Photoshop, if you don't want to switch to any other alternatives. This is great to have a dual boot system. And it runs very good, unlike using some software that emulates Windows, like VirtualBox, that you can install Windows in Linux Mint. Of course it works, but it may not be as efficient as if you would install it directly on your machine. 
so having a dual boot system in that case is pretty efficient. Anyway, let's get back to our Wi-Fi issue and see if it has been fixed. Log into our system and voila, as you can see, Wi-Fi networks available. Before, we didn't see that sign because we couldn't connect to any network. Let's go ahead and click here and check this out. Yeah, there we go. So we have networks already available so we can connect to any of these networks let's go ahead and choose this one it's got the really good signal so just type in the password for the wi-fi network and press connect wait a few seconds and voila we're connected to the wi-fi network that was that simple you simply need to download the proper driver for your wi-fi network controller and that's it. Let's go ahead and check out how it's working and see if there is no limitations or anything like that. I'll just go to the YouTube and play a video. Let's check out this Linux video. Yeah, check this out. So everything is working. This is that simple. So yeah, it handles everything good. So there is no issue with the speed. Everything is working smooth. Well, that's it. Everything is working. If you have a similar wireless network adapter, you're all done. Everything is working. But what if you have a different wireless network adapter? For example, you might have Intel, Realtek, Atheros, Qualcomm, MediaTek, or some other ones as well. Well, the steps are gonna be similar. You simply need to identify the wireless network adapter that we did in the first step, whether it is a PCIe card or integrated on your motherboard, or whether it is a USB Wi-Fi adapter, identify the wireless adapter, for example, you might be getting Network Controller, Intel Corporation Wireless 7260, or something like that. After that, you need to search for the appropriate Linux driver. Based on the chipset name, you can search for it online. For that, again, in the terminal, you gotta put the chipset name that you just identified, then put space, Linux space driver. And that should help you find the proper driver. I'm gonna put a list of common chipset and drivers on the screen so you can check out. If you have any of this, simply use the Linux driver. Well, this is it, guys. I hope this video will be helpful to you. Let me know in the comment section below if this has helped you to fix your Wi-Fi issue on Linux Mint and what wireless network adapter you had. And if it was helpful to you and you like this video, please support with the like. Also, if you're first time to the channel, make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. If you will still have any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. And if you would like to support my channel, you can use Super Thanks or simply buy me a coffee. The link for it is in the description. Also, if you need extra help, you can go ahead and check out my Linux Mint playlist. I already have a lot of helpful videos for beginners, so make sure to check it out if you want to get more proficient in Linux Mint. But this is it for today's. I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.